Um, I'm Richard Bartle. I'm Professor of Computer Game Design at the University of Essex and I'm part of the DALI team. Um, DALI, so it's about natural language processing and I'm a Professor of Computer Game Design, so what's the connection? Well, um, we use games to acquire data for our natural language processing. The kind of games we use are called GWAPs, Games with a Purpose. Um, they're a kind of serious game, or you could say that serious games are a kind of guap, but there is a distinction between the two. Um, in a serious game, you're generally being taught something. The, the purpose of the game is to get you to do something that you um, either want to do or accept that you have to do. Um, and that could be learning a skill, um, learning a language, um, or it could be learning facts or mathematics. Um, games are actually very good at teaching facts. Um, I can name every European country not because I've sat there memorising maps, but because I've played so many games that involve maps of Europe that I just happen to know them. I'm not going to name them all now, you can be thankful, you don't have to s skip ahead or anything. But that's the kind of thing that they're good at at the facts level. They're also very good at high order problem solving level, but that's not the kind of thing that you can test. I mean, you can't say to somebody, right, well, we'll, we'll take um, 300 children and we'll make 150 of them not play games for two years and then let 150 of them play games and then we'll see whether the, um, the ones who play games are um, better at solving high order problem solving because that's kind of cruel if they're not. And also you can't keep kids away from games um, unless you're particularly... Um, brutal about it. Um, the uh, games of the purpose, um, on the other hand, they are games which have been designed to um, have some extra component to it um, which is separate from the game itself. Now with serious games mainly what people want to teach are things that aren't very interesting because if they were interesting they wouldn't try and do it through serious games. I mean, the logic is something like games fun, serious uh, learning thing not fun. Let's put them together and get fun serious learning thing but what you actually get is unfun not fun definitely don't want to play it games. So designing for those is a problem because you're trying to get people to play a game to learn something that is intrinsically not fun. So you have to give them the reward extrinsically. So play the game, you get points. Uh, and you can. What do points mean? Points mean, well, pretty well nothing really, but it could mean a, a chance at winning a £5 book token or whatever. Now games with a purpose, they are more intrinsically fun. You don't have to try and teach somebody something that they're not interested in because you're not really teaching them at all. What you're doing is harnessing their existing interest and using it in a way that's useful for you. So for example hamsters like to run. I'm not suggesting that our players are hamsters by the way. Well, I suppose some of them are but they probably haven't got, a, haven't probably got the capacity to use English that um, they would need to play our games. Although maybe the clicker one. Anyway, um, hamsters love running. So you give a hamster a wheel, put the hamster in the wheel, and it just runs like crazy. It loves that. It really likes that. If you were to attach a dynamo to that wheel, then you could get some um, power out of it. Now, not a lot because um, there isn't a lot of wattage in a, in a hamster, but you could get some power out of it if you did that. And this is kind of what we're doing with games with a purpose. The games are meant to be fun, intrinsically. Um, you don't get fun from, oh wow, look look at the pretty pictures, or oh wow, I, um, I've i managed to um, impress my parents. You get the fun from, the game's actually interesting. Um, but there's this extra purpose, the dynamo stuck on the back. And that's in our case, is a data collection for uh, assorted things, um, mainly ambiguity. Um, we're trying to find out what things um, mean, or at least what people think they mean. Um, and so we, when we design the games, we're trying to make the games fun to play, but also built around a concept that we want to extract some data for so that we can then put it into a large database and other people will come along and use the database and say, aha, when they use the word it here, then it could mean any of these things. Um, so that's the aim with games of the purpose. Uh, and they're easier to design for, because if you're designing for something that people don't want to do and isn't fun, well, you're really you're really up against it. But if you're designing something that people do want to do, not everybody needs to, to want to do it, but um, a lot of people do, then that makes it easier. 
So if someone's intrinsically interested in language and likes solving language puzzles, then giving them a game about that, they're going to want to play it because um, it's fun. We build some context around it to give them a direction. Um, but we can also um, introduce things that um, are useful from our perspective, and that's the purpose. Now, as for why um, we're doing it this way um, and not just simply paying people to um, sit down and um, tag things for us, well, we sort of are paying them. We're paying them in, in a game and, and fun. Um, and also, you, you get better results if people are invested in the game than if you just pay them because, well, if you just pay them, they will lie. They will do whatever they can do to get it out there as fast as possible. Um, but if they're playing a game and the game is fun, then they'll play it for the fun of the game and to help us out. And we're upfront about it. It's not like we're trying to trick people into playing our games and tee-hee everybody. Um, little do they know we're um, extracting information here. Um, we do actually advertise them. As, as a, there are science games. Um, so we're not trying to bamboozle the, the players. Um, but we do want them to have fun. Um, and we do have some extrinsic rewards for some of our games because um, we do feel a bit guilty about maybe uh, um, providing games and getting what to us looks like work but to the players looks like fun. Um, but on the whole, um, the games themselves are intended to be fun and that's what we do. As for um, how you make them fun and what fun is, well, um, that's a subject for another talk. Bye.